Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on for a few more minutes. We are thrilled to be with Colorado Avalanche head coach Jared Bednar. And, Coach, the outside expectations for this year, you guys are a favorite to win the Cup. You know, you've been underdogs in, in prior years. But you have said, Nathan McKinnon said this week, hey, pressure's a good thing. Uh, you said, which I loved, we've earned that as a team. Why are you guys like and embracing this pressure so much? Well, I, I just think it's it's such a positive to have pressure, you know. Like I think that you, if you if you interviewed any of the coaches or players around the league, they want to be playing in, in at the most important time of the year in the biggest games, and and, and there's pressure that comes with that, and um, it, it's what you dream about when you're a kid, even playing street hockey out on out on the road or playing with your buddies. You're always kind of uh, imagining yourself in the Stanley Cup Finals, so that it, it's something that you've you've uh, dreamt about and been working towards your whole life if you're at this level I, I think it's it's a, a, a tribute to our team and, and what we've done I think just even our whole organization like Joe's really gotten to work over the last three years in this in this rebuild and and brought us in you know players that can help us win hockey games every year and just trying to get better and better our players have dedicated themselves to their conditioning and and the way we play last year we challenged our team of being more consistent and I think to be now labeled as a favorite it's where we always wanted to be so why not have fun with it and embrace it and go put our best foot forward we'll try to win a Stanley Cup. Coach I'm curious since you've been the head coach of the Avalanche what has been the biggest change from when you arrived here to now? Well the, the youth m movement, you know, like I think you, there's there's a couple steps to it. Uh, my first year we, we started or my or we had a tough year. My second year we started the rebuild. And we, we wanted to get younger, faster, more skilled. The leadership was handed off to our our, you know, our core, which is Landis Gog, uh, McKinnon, as a grant and Eric Johnson, the, the, our younger core that's sort of coming along is, is, is taking a real active role in the leadership of our team. I think they enjoyed mentoring our young guys as they came up. Um, some guys are still here and now in their third and fourth year and some guys have moved on. We've added some pieces, but I just think the whole identity of our team, like we, we wanted to kind of be a mirror image of the teams that won here in the past. They were fast, they were exciting, they were, they were you know, highly offensive, but they competed real hard and, and just a great character group of guys. And, and that's what we're trying to build here again. And, and I think, you know, with some of the players that we have, we're off to a real good start. And the only thing we're missing now is is to go and, and execute and go and go win some Stanley Cups. And, and, and that's the goal of everyone here. And we've been working tirelessly to try and achieve that goal. And last one, before we let you go, you mentioned you want to make build it like the teams in the past that have won. Well, you got a guy in the building that has been on some of those teams. What is your relationship like uh, with Joe Sackick? It's great. You know what? He's... Uh... You know, we 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 share information. I, I think if you're sitting, if you're if you're me and you're sitting in in the seat that I'm sitting in, and and you have a guy that has as much experience as Joe on and winning and and building teams and leadership and 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 being able to understand, you know, our star players, I'd be crazy not to use it. You know, you know, you know, I'll constantly be prying information from him, and uh, he's real easy to talk to. He gives me the information that I ask for, and uh, we. We communicate on a daily basis, but he still lets me, um, you know, be me as a coach and, and, and coach our hockey team. And if, if, if something's bothering him, if he sees some, uh, something that can that can help our team, then then he'll share it with me. And, uh, you know, so there's there's a lot of uh, discussion and talk, and that's how we do it. We do everything by committee here. You know, we put all of our heads together and, and approach all the situations that come our way and trying to find the best solution to keep trying to help our, our team move forward. And we're, all, and we're all in it for, uh, you know, what's best for the team. So it, it, it makes uh, gathering those uh, uh, opinions and, and sorting through them and coming up with what's best for the team a little bit easier. Certainly a lot for all of us to look forward to. The season opens on Wednesday night. Coach Jared Bednar, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it so much. Can't wait yeah. to see you on the bench, if you will. Thank you for having me. Looking forward to it. And that's it for us. We'll see you guys next time.